Kajang Tourism is taking a very strong step on a path of sustainable development and promoting the traditional values of highland antique people in Hajang. Unlike other tourist attractions, Hajang keep a unique style. On every step in this rocky play-doh, you will feel very clearly the culture, the spiritual and the material life of the highland. When you take every step on this land, you will be awakened and it will touch most of the emotion you have not reached for a long time. Sustainable tourism is tourism that relies on traditional values as a promotion and development. So we love it, so exciting, cause you're so right And I will never leave in you, leave in your sight Cause you're mine Along with those unique cultural values, Hazang is trying to develop tourist areas associated with ancient villages, where the culture of the local empty community is most clearly shown. If you have heard about Nam Dang village, Zhao village in Quan Ba, or Kok Pang village in Zhuja, then today I will introduce you to another ancient village, Lo Lo Chai village, located on the foot of Lung Ku flag tower, with most of the people here being Lo Lo and Hmong people with unique features. Subscribe to my YouTube channel where I share about Hajiang travel experiences. Please click the follow button to get more information from me. And I believe that if you share this with your friends and loved ones, they will really appreciate it for showing them the unique beauty of this land. To get to Lo Lo Chai, you need to go to Lungku Flagpole. Follow a small road to the north, past a cool lake. Next to it is Lo Lo Chai village, leaning against a large mountain. Lo Lo Chai village is one of the most experiences you need to make for your Hajang trip more meaningful and in the story that you will tell to your children and grandchildren in the future. Since you came into my life I never felt like So we love is so exciting cause you're so right And I will never leave in you, leave in your sight Cause you're mine Cause you're mine Think about what it would be like if in the afternoon you stop at the northern part of Vietnam and look up at the sacred Lungku flagpole. The strong wind causes the flag to flutter in the sky where it can be seen from kilometers away. You can dine, drink tea, and enjoy a warm cup of coffee on a winter morning or dance by the fire in the most remote villages in Vietnam. Lo Lo is considered the most remote village located highest in the country that tourists can stop by. The village is surrounded by cliffs and mountains and a lake that never runs dry whether it's rainy season or the dry season. Here beside the Lolo -lo people, there is another part of the Hmong people also living around this village as well. The Lolo -lo people live on the other side of this big lake and another Hmong village on the other side of the lake. You can just sympathize and the poverty and suffering of the people in the top part of the country but they still work very hard every day to improve themselves to gain more strength. Lo 
Lolo Chai, you will be immersed in the space with many colors of local people, with cozy rooms presented on the walls, the bed sheet and the cloth covered with varying patterns. Uniquely, the roofs are carefully covered with the colorful tiles. A Lolo dance will also be experiences that you will surely remember forever in your life.